In this video we're going to discuss the basics of proportional relationships. And as always we're going to be looking at equations and tables and graphs and how all of those compare together. Alright, so let's get started here. First of all, a proportional relationship will always be in the form of y equals kx where k is some number. For example, you might have y equals 5x, y equals 10x, etc, etc. So in this case, k equals 5, in this case k equals 10 and k is always a constant alright so that that is the way that the equation will look so next let's look at some formats of a table how a table would look so you're going to have x and y as always of course x is your independent y is your dependent variable remember our rhyme xi dy x is independent x is independent the dependent is y xi dy xi dy okay so let's look at an example where we have y equals 5x and how we would go about filling out a table same thing always applies always 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 when we are given an equation the first thing that we do is go to our calculator and put the equation into y equals so in, in this case we'll look at y equals 5x so this is simply we go to our y equals screen and put in 5x then we want to create a table so the second thing we do after putting it in y equals is set up our table that's right here on table set and we get there by going second window which sets up our table in this case we're going to start at zero and go up one at a time the next thing after we've set up our table is we go into our table which is second graph alright and we'll just start filling out some values so we have the points zero zero so we'll put those in oops zero zero we had one five two and ten three and fifteen four and twenty and five and twenty five Okay, so a couple of things, patterns to look for in a table to determine if you have a proportional relationship, uh, one that is in y equals 5x. The best definition of a proportional situation that will always keep you straight from an algebra perspective is that a proportional relationship will always be, put this in red, it's very important, linear linear through the origin linear through the origin so linear you know what that means it makes a line the origin you'll recall is the point 0 comma 0 proportional means this very 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 important linear through the origin proportional linear through the origin one more time proportional linear through the origin that is the most important part and as you might have already connected when we're looking at a table if we have a proportional relationship this will always be true when x is 0 y is 0 
always, 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 always. Proportional, linear through the origin. The origin is the point 0, comma, 0. X is 0, Y is 0, right here. That is your key, right there. If we have a proportional relationship, another pattern that we will see in the table is right here. When x is 1, whatever y is equal to, in this case 5, that is our k value. So a table set up for a proportional relationship will always have two things in common. We will have the point 0, 0, when x is 0, y is 0. We will have the situation where when x is 1, whatever y is equal to will be our k or our constant value, the number that goes in front of x, right here. Our k value will appear right here in the table. Notice in this case, there it is, 5, because we graphed, or we put in our calculator, y equals 5x. Okay. So that is extremely, extremely important. Now, moving on to a graph. First, let's set up uh, x and y axis. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put in a... It's not a very straight line, but that's okay. We'll have an x and y coordinate plane here. X axis here, Y axis here. All right, I'm going to have to make a scale that's a little different than normal in order to make these fit. So here we have when X is 1, this isn't going to be a perfect scale. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we're going to have to do five at a time. So let me put these here. One, two, three, four, five. So one at a time on the x-axis. And we're going to go up five at a time here. One, that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, let's put our points in. Do those in green. So we know we've got the point zero, 0, There's the important point right there. Very, very, very important. Linear through the origin. Point zero, 0, will always be there. Then we have 1 and 5. We have 2 and 10. We have 3 and 15. 4 and 20. And 5 and 25. Let's connect this. I'm going to go ahead and extend it beyond let's not let me redo that and my points aren't perfect all right we've got a line like this and I'm going to go ahead and extend it because we know this is linear okay let me darken up my points here that we had make them fit on our line a little better again my line's not perfectly straight but you you get the idea okay so Let's check our calculator graph and see how that looks. So let's bring that over here. All right. Always when we set up our graph, the nice thing is once we set up our table, it helps us set up our graph a little bit better. So in this case, we'll go in both directions since we have a full coordinate plane to be able to help us. Our window values will be our biggest our x minimum is the first thing that means the smallest x so we're going to go just opposite of this over here so we'll put in a negative 5 here our biggest x that we have listed right here and right here on our graph already is 5 our well our x scale is 1 we did one at a time our minimum y will go the opposite down here, so we'll go to negative 25. Then our y maximum, our biggest y here in our table was 25. And our x scale, our y scale, sorry, our y scale, we did five at a time, so we'll do that same thing here. And then graph it, and there we go. 
it's a perfect line right through the origin linear through the origin right through the origin I can't stress that enough if you get that down proportional relationships will always make sense to you the starting point is 0 comma 0 right here that is our y-intercept at 0 when x is 0 y is 0 all right all proportional relationships will always be that case okay so let's let's test uh, your knowledge here really quickly let's say uh, I'll draw a coordinate plane here coordinate plane here coordinate plane here oh, that's not very good let me redo that one and one more here okay I'm gonna draw some lines here Okay, I'm going to label these A, B, C, and D. Okay, now you tell me which ones of these are proportional. Looking at them, okay. Is A? No, it is not. It is not proportional. It is a line, so it gets half. I'm going to put not for not proportional. It's part of the two things that we need. We need it to be linear, which it is, but we also need it to go through the origin, which is it, it does not. Therefore, it is not a proportional relationship. The graph is not proportional. Okay, next one, B. It is a line, so check on the linear part, and it also goes right through the origin. So it is, yes, so yes, this one is proportional yes okay the next one C it is a line or um, based on my artistic skills it is that's as close to the line as we're going to get it is definitely a line and it is again with my artistic skills going through the origin so yes it meets both criteria to be proportional alright D it is a line, so that's a check, but it does not go through the origin, so it is not proportional. Not. Okay, quickly, let's get some tables up here to wrap this up, and then you'll be able to apply proportional relationships to problem situations, create graphs, tables, and equations, and determine if they are proportional. Okay, so this one, uh, 0, 5. That's one table. Here's another one. And one more. Okay, label these A, B. Actually, I'm not going to do that because if you're watching this later, I don't want you to get confused uh, with this A, B, C, and D over here. So I'm going to label this E, F, and G. All right, so we're going to determine are these tables, based on these values, are these tables proportional? 0, 5. Okay, it's definitely linear because the change, and we should have talked about this over here, but we notice that the change is constant. It's got a constant rate of change. We've got a 5 to 10 is 5, 10 to 15 is 5, so we are con making sure that this thing is linear. It's definitely linear. Linear will always have a constant change. The y will always be the same. Uh, every time x changes by 1, y will change by the same amount, in this case 5. Okay, so it's definitely linear, but it, it does not go through the origin, so it is not proportional. 
Okay, this one. First of all, it's got the point zero, 0, so we're good there. So let's check if it's linear. We've got from 0 to 8 is 8. From 8 to 16 is 8. From 16 to 24 is also 8. So we have linear. We have through the origin. So check. Yes, this is proportional. Okay, here we've got the origin. We've got zero zeros in there, so that's good. Let's see if it's linear. We have 0 to 6, which is 6. We've got 6 to 12, which is 6. We've got 12 to 18, which is also 6. So we've got a constant rate of change here. So therefore, it's linear. We've got 0, 0, so it's through the origin. So yes, this one is proportional. All right, so there are your proportional relationship basics. Uh, in our assignment, we will be applying uh, these uh, factors that we've covered here. And I hope this video helped.